what's up guys idk play here coming back with a brand new nascar heat 5 video and today we are going to take a look at and review all of the paint schemes that are a part of the october dlc now as you probably know by now my logo is hidden in this video and if you can find it go ahead and comment the timestamp in the comment section below with the chance to win a 10 dollar psn xbox or steam gift card so without further ado let's get started Starting off with the first scheme, we have Erica Marola's All-Star Smithfield Ford Mustang. And as you guys can already tell, we're going to have a bunch of All-Star and Throwback schemes in this pack. Now, I've never been a big fan of the numbers being placed anywhere besides the door. But honestly, I'm really happy that they added in All-Star schemes, including this one, because I am an Erica Marola fan. Next, we have Erica Marola's Go Bowling a Throwback Car. And this is beautiful. One of the best throwbacks in my opinion and a very underrated throwback the way everything works with the retro numbers where it just says go bowling the red and the white a beautiful looking scheme and it looks really good in game next up we have christopher bell's ream car which looks really cool by the way i like that black base that black base with the red stripes look really good in game now as you guys know cars in game might look a little bit different irl which you will see very soon for one particular scheme but this one is absolutely amazing amazing the toyota nose with the black base looks amazing definitely a thumbs up there heading over we have josh balicki's throwback and i love these old throwbacks man with those retro numbers this yellow base is actually pretty cool i've never been a big fan of yellow but this one works it really well we got insurance king on the side very slick very simple looking throwback if i do say so Next up, we have Ryan Blaney's Body Armor All-Star Car, and don't get me wrong, I'm happy they added the All-Star schemes, and it's something that I actually thought they wouldn't add, but I feel like with this All-Star scheme, it's just like they just plopped it together, they didn't try to do anything unique with it, not my favorite scheme, but it's something unique. But following that, we have Ryan Blaney's Throwback Car, and man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this scheme. The way the colors mix together and then how the blue base is separated by the stripes absolutely beautiful looking scheme following that we have alex bowman's all-star scheme and as you guys know i'm just gonna say this right now i'm not a big fan of the numbers not being on the door so my opinion you're gonna see for a lot of these all-star schemes aren't gonna be very positive but after that we have alex bowman's a Cronus chevrolet and you know how i feel about blue and white mixing together this thing looks absolutely great i don't know what they did with this car to make it look good i don't know if it's just a texture near the 88 but it looks amazing heading over to another throwback we have a clint boyer's throwback to kyle petty and whoo man peak really outdid themselves with this one that pink stripe looks great throwback cars this year have been amazing boyer's throwback car just absolutely nails it then we have clint boyer's all-star car which is kind of like whatever with me but honestly it's one of the better ones that i like out of the all-star schemes i feel like this one just fits right the 14 isn't like you know discombobulated it looks really good in game next up we have chris busher's all-star scheme and honestly this is probably one of the worst all-star schemes in my opinion for paint schemes to work with the all-star number placement they need to change it up and flow the paint schemes differently, which you will see very soon in this video. Heading over, we have a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Kyle Busch paint scheme. Man, I love patriotic schemes. I love them, and M&Ms and Kyle Busch schemes literally do not disappoint. Whether you like Kyle Busch or not, you literally cannot lie. These M&M paint schemes are beautiful, they're iconic to Kyle Busch, they're amazing, and this patriotic scheme, once again, it didn't disappoint. And now heading over to my favorite all-star scheme, we have uh, Kyle Busch's M&M's Camry, and you know what I was talking about earlier, how they needed to change up the paint scheme, which they didn't do on Busher. This is what I was talking about. They changed up the livery so everything flows correctly. It's great, they didn't just move certain things around. They made the paint scheme flow with the 18 on the side. This is a 10 out of 10 paint scheme and probably the best all-star paint scheme you're going to see in this DLC. And finally, wrapping out Kyle Busch, we have his throwback car to Elliot Sadler. And man, this thing is beautiful. First, the render looked off a little bit, but right now in game, it looks amazing. Honestly, I think this scheme looks better in game than it does real life because that sometimes happens. Some schemes look better 
in real life compared to in-game and obviously flip-flop the other way. But this one definitely works no matter what. Great set of schemes here for Kyle Busch. Heading over to William Byron, we have William Byron's C-Glass All-Star Scheme. On track, it looked really good. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, in-game it looks pretty good as well. As a follow-up, we also have William Byron's Liberty University Scheme. And honestly, I'm surprised this didn't come into the game earlier. But hey, it still looks great. Following up, we also have Cole Custer's All-Star Scheme, and uh, this doesn't look too good. I don't know what they're trying to do here. We're just going to go on to the next one. This this is hideous. But as a follow-up, we have a beautiful Cole Custer throwback. I love this scheme. It's so simple. The font looks great. I mean, I just love retro cars, and this just absolutely blows my mind. Up next, we have Matt DiBenedetto's FVP Ford Mustang. It looks really simple. It looks really good. Honestly, one of the better looking all-star schemes in this pack. Also, just want to let you guys know, we have a lot of schemes to get to, so expect me to move through these schemes very quickly. After that, we have another beautiful number 21 throwback. I've always loved the 21 throwbacks, and uh, honestly, this one just takes the cake again. An absolute amazing looking Wood Brothers throwback. Next, we have Austin Dillon scheme, and in-game, eh, it doesn't look too good. I'm not a fan of this one. The biggest problem with this scheme is the number placement. The number three kind of warps a little bit to the left rear tire, and it's kind of like a big turnoff, so not the greatest scheme, but definitely could have been better. Now, this is a throwback. Austin Dillon's number three, a throwback to Junior Johnson. I love how they worked with this one. I just love those old retro numbers. I feel like I'm a broken record here, but absolutely outstanding looking scheme. Definitely a top 10 throwback scheme without a doubt. Driving through, we have Chase Elliott in the number 9 uni for Chevrolet. As you guys know, he won the all-star race in this scheme. And this one just seems a little bland. Following that, we have Denny Hamlin's number 11 all-star scheme. And uh, honestly, once again, the numbers kind of screw it up, but not that bad, honestly. Now, this one I'm a huge fan of. Denny Hamlin's Federal Express throwback based off of the cargo plane that they used to fly back in the day. It doesn't matter. It's still an amazing looking scheme. And finally, we get a genuine different livery for Denny Hamlin. Next up, we have Quinn Howe's throwback car. And this is a very unique looking scheme. But hopefully one day they do a throwback to David Rudiman's schemes back in the day when he was sponsored by Burger King. That would be amazing. Next up, we have seven-time champion Jimmy Johnson with his white ally scheme, also known as his rally scheme, an amazing-looking vehicle. It's beautiful. I love it, but there is one problem. In real life, the ally scheme's numbering is neon yellow. In-game, it's just this basic yellow. Hopefully, they do fix that soon, but all around, an amazing-looking scheme. Next up, we have Eric Jones, a craftsman, number 20 all-star scheme. Once again, basically his primary scheme just with the number moved. Then we have Eric Jones throwback, which is based off of Tony Stewart. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Tony Stewart fan, and I absolutely love this scheme. Hands down, one of my favorite throwbacks in this collection. Next, we have Brad's all-star scheme. And honestly, it does work really well. I don't know why I like it, but... It just works. It's simple. It's beautiful. And then right after that, we have his throwback, which is now his primary for the playoffs. And this is amazing. I hope they use this scheme next year because I love this discount tire scheme. And honestly, it looks way better in game than it does to his real life counterpart. Next, we have Joy Logano's number 22 Penzoil All-Star Scheme. And it's okay. I feel like they could have done more with it, but his throwback car is beautiful. Very simple, very sleek. I felt like, you know, they probably should have changed the rims up a little bit, but all around, it looks really good. Next, we have Michael McDowell's Loves number 43 All-Star Scheme, and I know people don't like this scheme just based off of what happened in the open, obviously, but honestly, it's one of the best-looking All-Star Schemes, in my opinion. I feel like Loves it really did work well with this. You have the huge heart in the back. Very simple, very authentic. I like it. Next, we have John Hunter Nemechek's throwback. Honestly, I like it, but... There's just something about it that I wish they would have done differently. I just can't put my mind to it. And then right after that, we have his all-star scheme. Pretty solid all-star scheme. Next, we have Ryan Newman's Oscar Mayer all-star scheme. Personally, it looks better in real life than it does in a game. But at the end of the day, they still both look really good. After that, we have Ryan Newman's throwback. I like it a lot, to be honest. I like how simple and I like how the stripes work with the car. Really great looking car. And then after that, we have Ryan Newman's guarantee rate number six beautiful absolutely beautiful i don't know what they did with this car for me to like it it must be the lines i don't i don't know what they did but it looks really good on track in game it looks a little bit different but no matter what it still looks really good 
wow this scheme is amazing definitely a top three all-star scheme in this pack an amazing looking scheme for ryan priest they definitely outdid themselves next we have tyler reddick's food city chevrolet and honestly it's okay it's whatever i felt like they could have done better and if you want to know what better looks like let's go ahead and take a look at tyler reddick's throwback and man this is beautiful i love it caterpillar on the hood the colors blended together i am just speechless next we have stenhouse's all-star scheme and don't get me wrong once again i'm happy they added the all-star schemes into nascar e5 because of how unique they are but this scheme eh, it's bottom tier up next we have daniel suarez's all-star scheme and honestly i love the size of the number i feel like the number size does make the difference in the look of the car and after that we do have daniel suarez's heiress throwback to his 2016 xfinity series championship beautiful it's amazing have nothing to complain about next we have truex's throwback which is very reminiscent to his throwback last year i still like it i know people were kind of downplaying this game but honestly it still looks pretty unique Heading over to Bubba Wallace, we have Bubba Wallace is a beautiful worldwide technology all-star scheme. I actually like it. It's pretty unique, and I like how big they made the worldwide technology logo. And finally, to wrap up the Cup Series paint schemes in this October DLC, we have Bubba's Cash App car, and this is honestly better than his other Cash App car. I feel like the other one had too much green, and this one adds in a different color that definitely makes it more stylish. Heading into the first Xfinity Series scheme, we have Justin Allgaier's throwback to Junior Motorsports. I think it was the concept car or the first ever Junior Motorsports scheme. Anyways, it looks great. I really like this throwback. Beautiful looking scheme. Next, we have Michael and Nat. I don't know why, but I feel like all the Oreo cars look amazing. And this one just without a doubt doesn't disappoint. Beautiful looking scheme. The blue and the white work well together. An amazing looking Xfinity car. After that, we have Harrison Burton, which is basically his primary scheme, just with a different sponsor on the hood, but sadly, we cannot see that sponsor. And after that, we have his Dex imaging throwback, and I'm sorry, but this, this is disgusting. I don't like the look of it. Next, we have Ross Chastain. I really like how they work together this car. Everything looks really good. It works together really well. And after that, we have Jeremy Clemens with an amazing looking scheme. Sadly, I do not know the sponsor of this one, but hey, it still looks amazing. As a follow-up, we also have another Jeremy Clemens scheme, and I love this one. You know how I feel about the American flag and these patriotic schemes. Beautiful, beautiful looking scheme right here. This fly in form as Chevrolet is absolutely awesome. Heading over to Chad Fincham, we have just a plain, simple Chad Fincham car. Nothing really crazy going on here. And then after that, we head over to his 13 car, which is obviously paying tribute to Dan Marino, Jerry Nadu, and the Miami Dolphins. Heading over to Joe Graff, we have a beautiful Halloween scheme. Man, that green and black works really well. I love it. Nothing to complain about there. And then we head over to Daniel Hemrick, and this is a really cool throwback, honestly. I really like how the colors work together. The Xfinity series honestly has a great set of throwbacks in this DLC. Up next, we have Daniel Hemrick's on-deck Chevrolet. The turquoise, the blue, the white works really good together. An amazing looking piece. And after that, we have Brandon Jones throwback. And honestly, this scheme is very underappreciated, very unique, very well thought out, and it's beautiful execution. After that, we have Alex LeBay. I don't know why I like this scheme. I'm guessing just because it has the brick on the bottom, which is very unique, but it looks really good. It's like one of those schemes that if something is off by a little bit, it could look really bad, but together, it just looks really nice. Heading over to Spencer Void, sadly, I cannot see the sponsor, but it looks really good. Very simple looking scheme. After that, we have his throwback, which is to Todd Bodine, which was at one point my favorite truck driver. And honestly, this is just bringing back a lot of memories, a beautiful looking piece as well. Next, we have Christian Eckes' throwback. And honestly, this is like whatever to me. I felt like they could have done more with it. But when we head to Grant Infinger, I don't know why I love these schemes for Thor Sport, but it just works. The black, the gray, this farm paint Ford looks absolutely amazing. Heading over to Store Freeze, and we've seen this scheme multiple times, basically with the same template, but hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Then we head over to Todd Gilland, and honestly, this truck looks better in-game than it does real life. I don't know what's the issue here. I feel like they really lacked on the font for the number, but it's okay. Heading into the final two schemes, we have Rafael Lazard's number four Toyota Tundra. This thing looks great, honestly. It looks really good. I don't know why, but I love the simple aspect of this. The black base with the design on the side, 
beautiful looking scheme and perfectly executed. And finally, heading to the final scheme of the October DLC, we have Austin Wayne's self Airbox 22 uh, Chevy Silverado. I love Austin Wayne's designs on his car. And if I'm not mistaken, the Texas flag is still on the deck lid of his truck. It's a simple looking scheme. It's very unique and I have nothing to complain about with this truck. And just like that, we have wrapped up the October DLC. Let's go ahead and review. This DLC has a total of 70 schemes consisting of 8 truck series schemes, 14 Xfinity series schemes, and 48 NASCAR Cup series schemes, officially being the biggest DLC NASCAR E5 has to offer. Personally, this DLC is really good. It was expected for us to see throwback schemes, but I was really surprised when I saw all of the all-star liveries added, which was really nice to see. This DLC has a lot of good looking liveries and a bunch of fan favorites. My only downside I have with this is the fact that we didn't get to see any of the Hendrick throwbacks and I don't know if it will be a part of a free DLC or added later in the game but besides that this DLC is amazing and is definitely one of the best we have seen in a NASCAR Heat game. So if you want to get a hold of this one go to the PlayStation, Xbox or Steam store to get it when the DLC releases and just a quick reminder if you have the season pass you get all of the DLCs that have been published in NASCAR or E5 for free. So that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button. Comment down below your favorite livery from this pack. And please don't forget to subscribe or become a channel member by hitting the join button for some awesome channel perks. So I'll see you guys in my next NASCAR E5 or NASCAR 21 video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. ID count.